Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at your Mac's memory usage in Activity Monitor. So Activity Monitor can be found in your Applications Utilities folder. And it's useful for a lot of different things, like seeing what processes and applications are running on your Mac. One thing you can use it for is to see how much of your memory is being used. So when you run Activity Monitor, it looks like this and it shows you processes running at the top of the screen. At the bottom of the screen, you have several different tab choices, including System Memory. Click on that and you'll get to see exactly how your Mac is using memory. So first, let's look at the left side. You can see it says Free, Wired, Active, Inactive, and Used. So basically divide that into two pieces, Free and Used, the top and bottom parts. And that adds up to your total amount of memory. In this case, I have 10 gigs in my Mac Pro. So the difference between active and inactive is active memory is memory that's now being used by the applications for something. It's inactive memory is memory that was used by the applications recently and may be used again, but your Mac is allowed to clear that out if something else needs it and the applications will reclaim it later if it needs it then. So basically wired is important stuff that your Mac cannot remove from memory. Active is stuff that's not as important but it's being used at the moment and inactive stuff is stuff not being used at the moment so your Mac can reclaim it if necessary. So before we go further it's important to understand the concept of virtual memory. So you have physical memory. Say you have 4 gigs of RAM in your Mac and every time you run an application it would take up another piece of RAM. Eventually you would run out of space and you try to run another application and it would say sorry can't run application out of memory. We used to get this all the time, maybe 20 years ago, before the introduction of virtual memory. So the way virtual memory works is it uses all of the free space you have on a hard drive as virtual RAM. So in other words, you might have 100 gigs of free space. So your Mac pretends it has 100 gigs of RAM and it uses your hard drive for that. Now it takes longer for it to access the information on your hard drive than it does in RAM. So what it does is it says, well, I'm going to use 100 gigs of RAM on the hard drive. And the 4 gigs that I access the most often, I'm going to put that in memory so I can access it quickly. Only when I need to go outside of that 4 gigs of the most commonly accessed memory will I actually call to the hard drive and ask for a bit of memory there. Think of it as how you may take notes in a class. You may write down everything the instructor says, but the most important pieces of information, the ones you know you're going to need, you keep up here as well. And if there's something that you can't remember, you can refer back to your notes and it's all there. In this case, the notebook is your virtual memory in your hard drive and your RAM is your memory up in your head. So now back to Activity Monitor. On the right side we can see VM size, which is basically the amount of free space I have in my hard drive that's available to be used as virtual memory. At the bottom there is Swap Use. That's how much of that that I'm using for virtual memory right now. None of it. I've got 10 gigs of RAM and I'm not using it all at the moment, so I'm not using any virtual memory. Now page in and page out give you an idea of how your Mac is using virtual memory. So pages are blocks of memory. Page ins are pages used in RAM. So here I'm using 3 gigs and of course I am using memory because I'm using applications in the system. So there's going to be a number here always and this is fine. No matter how big it gets, it's fine because it's actually using RAM. Now page outs are when a page is used from outside of memory. In other words, it's read in from the hard drive. So here I'm at zero, which is great. It means I'm not using virtual memory at all. Now if there's a small number here, that's fine because applications are going to use virtual memory. Even if you have free space available, some applications will definitely use virtual memory because they know some information just isn't important enough for it to take up hard drive space. Now if your page outs get to be large, like say they get to be about the size of page ins or larger, that means you're using virtual memory a lot and that's when you may want to consider adding more RAM to your Mac. So there's a look at monitoring your Mac's memory usage using Activity Monitor and a little bit about virtual memory as well. Hope you found it useful. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.